Hi, everyone. Prof Gordon here from Exam Success. And if you're enjoying these videos, please hit the subscribe button. It helps push these videos out to other candidates who will benefit from the information. All right, now let's get to learning. Okay, so we're going to go through this question, and it's something that I think is going to show up on your exam. I really want you to pay attention, make sure you learn these simple rules. It's an easy mark, and if you don't know how to do it, then I think you're one step behind the competition. So read this question, pause the video, try it, see if you can get the answer, and then continue forward. Now let's go through the simple rules that work all the time. So we're going to use a 12-month waiting system. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply a weighting of 12 out of 12 to any shares that were outstanding at the beginning of the year. So they might say January 1st, or they might use December 31st from the previous year. Those are your signals for beginning of the year. You give it a weighting of 12 out of 12. The next issue will be for shares that have been issued by the company some point during the year. So the shares that are issued are included, which means we add uh, from the date forward. They get a weighting of X months out of 12. Then we'll deal with shares which have been uh, repurchased. So if the company purchases shares, then we exclude those from the weighted average number of shares outstanding from the date of the repurchase moving forward. And again, they get a weighting of, of X uh, months out of 12. That X refers to the month in which the, the issue or repurchase occurs. Then the next item which you may see are stock splits and stock dividends. No matter when these occur, they get a 12 out of 12 weighting, a full year's weighting. It's retroactive. If you apply these rules, you'll be able to get the answers to any of these type of weighted average number of share calculation questions. The key is just to know how to apply them, and then you'll get it nice and easy. It's, it's easy to use. It works every time. I uh, want you to forget about CFA Institute's guideline answers for their questions. I think they're more confusing than they need to be. If you can apply these rules, then I think that you've got it. So now you can go on and take a look at the video of me solving this and see if that helps you. Okay, so let's move forward to the video. Okay, so this was a tricky question, uh, and I just want to walk through the, the way to handle it, a simple way that works all the time. So uh, we've got the company, and they have uh, uh, 45,000 shares outstanding. This is on, uh, on, uh, on January the 1st. So uh, this gets a weighting of 12 months out of 12 months. So for my weighted average number of shares outstanding, I'm going to count that as 45,000 shares. Then the question tells us on June the 1st, so this is, uh, this is January the 1st, then on June the 1st, uh, they issue another 15,000 shares. So these 15,000 shares, remember our rules, when you issue shares, then you include them from the date of issue forward. When you repurchase shares, you remove them from the date of uh, repurchase forward. So uh, these are issued on June the 1st. So they're gonna be outstanding for June, July, August, September, October, November, December, seven out of 12 months. So from my WASO formula, weighted average number of shares outstanding, these will count for 8,750 shares. And then they tell us that there's a two for one stock split on September 15th, September, 15th, there's a two for one stock split. Now, uh, now we know from our rules that stock splits, stock dividends are given a full year's weighting. So, uh, so how do we handle this? A very simple way is just to do this. Let's just take the shares that were outstanding before the stock split, we'll add it up. The total is 53,750. And now there was a two for one stock split. Let's just multiply this by two and it will give us our answer. Here it is, uh, 107,500 shares. This would be the number of shares 
uh, that we would use in our weighted average uh, number of shares outstanding in our uh, earnings per share calculation. Okay, now let's move on to the next example.